Right, Newcastle on the man you to quick review here out of the engine was Paul Keg. What do you make that day? To be fair, it wasn't the worst game. I thought we like, played alright, to be fair. Really done alright. First, first, first half, first exactly, 60, 70 yeah. minutes. Uh, like the two goals, like very avoidable goals now. Like I, I don't know if Man United will be happy with their performance today because they weren't outstanding, were they? Yeah. Like, especially the way they've been performing lately, they've been uh, battering, right. battering teams by at least three goals. That's what I mean, they've been hammering teams, comfortably winning, but the day they weren't, you know, yeah. I took two mistakes, two sloppy goals that most definitely could have been avoided. That's what's pissing me off. Yeah. Came in the game with no expectations, expected a heavy defeat, 3 1, 3 2, but we're hung in there, we're in the game with 20, 25 minutes to go. Yeah, it, it was really a sloppy mistake by De Brafka, fair play to the lad, he's been brilliant all season, keep us making mistakes, we've seen it recently with Pickford and that. But we made the mistake. The second goal winds me up. Oh, middle of middle of the park, there's a knee one there. The I'm ball sure comes. Shaw could have gotten to it. Shaw was the nearest person. He's only like 20 yards from us. Uh, everyone he, just he looked just, around. He just stopped. started tracking back. Like it could have been a 50-50. Like why is no no one tries to get the ball? Like, no. It was there, open for anyone to get to. Because Newcastle just decided to track back instead of getting to us. Like I didn't understand that. Rashford could have sat down, <laughs> did 20 sit-ups, 50 press-ups, had two wanks, and then put it back in the back of the net. Yeah, that long. <laughs> To finish uh, the goal, and that's what wound me up. And then from then, we we're chasing it. But for the story of the game, it was pretty much a lot of effort the day, better than Fulham. Chances on target, Atsu, a couple early on. Yeah, but yeah, again, with Atsu, it was decent. Yeah. But again, lacking Premier League quality. Yeah, like, you don't enjoy seeing his name on the team sheet, do you? No. Like, yeah, like he's, I think he started the last three games or something. Like, when he started thinking, fucking hell, like, is this what we've got to put up with? <laughs> But like now to, today, like he, he tried. It's just that end product again, in us. But like, no one really had that. Like that. so, f first half especially, Atsu was the main player. I think the game changed in the second half when Shelby came on. I think it took for a goal. I think it took for United to go one up and Shelby to come on to like actually start pressing a bit. Like Shelby's passing was looking great, but Rondon was up top by himself and he's not the quickest. No. Because uh, when uh, Perez went off, he was just up top by himself. I think he could have done with like. A pacey like partner, mm. like just someone to get in that number ten. Like now, nah, Perez isn't the quickest. Muto's all right, but now nah, I think we just needed someone with a little bit of pace to help Rondon out because he was doing all the hold-up play. He was strong, but uh, he's, he's just lost money. Like you, you can't get anywhere. Like Lindelof, like pretty much out of his back pocket. Really, right. we can't get anywhere against Man United. We can't expect to compete with like Man United. We've got Paul Pogba there, who's with double Newcastle's entire squad. Including the bench, <laughs> including the fucking tea lady. Pogba's <laughs> worth more than them. Sanchez, five and a grand, he comes off Sanchez the bench, piss We got our two doing having a better game than him, but <sighs> didn't expect anything the day. It's frustrating because teams are again picking up points around. We're only two points above the relegation zone now. Yeah. I think come the, before the game, a 2 0 defeat might not have looked that bad because I would say that like, United's been firing them in lately, like putting, oh, right. putting, three, putting out game, like, three, four, five goals, knee bother. So I was a bit scared getting into today. But leaving with a 2 0 defeat, like, it, it just looks poor because we actually didn't really deserve no, to lose. Because no. I say two sloppy, avoidable goals could have could have had a 0 uh, 0, could have came away with a point there. So yeah. like, a point would have been a very, very respectable result. Yeah. But, so yeah, it's a bit disappointing not to get anything out of the game. But let's like say could have been worse, really. <laughs> Definitely could have been worse. Still, lack of quality, lack of goals. Poor, but it's January transfer window now. It finished Newcastle 0-9-8-2. Let us know what your thoughts of the games were and enjoy yourself.